Jesus Christ. Yep. Jesus in the, is in the New Testament, mm -hmm. in the Gospels. Yep. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's right. So let's talk about the most important Bible character in the history of all mankind. Yes. At that moment in time, uh, it's it's been about 400, over 400 years since God has communicated with his people. That's right. A lot has happened over the years, mm -hmm. and the world is in desperate need of a Savior. Yeah, so true. But God has heard the cries of his people and sent his son, Jesus Christ. That's right. God himself comes mm -hmm. into the very world he created as a human being. Yes, and also he is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born into this world through the Virgin Mary, and is raised by Mary and Joseph. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Who is Jesus Christ? Yes. And why did he come? To die on the cross. To atone for the sins of all mankind, past, present, and future. And also to conquer, conquer sin, Satan, that's the devil, death, and evil. And to give everlasting life to those who believe in him with a repentant heart through his life, death, and and resurrection. Yes, which happened uh, three days after his death. Wow. Yeah. He is not just some great teacher and prophet, as some people believe. No, he is more than that. Absolutely. He is God in the flesh. Yep. Have you ever wondered what Jesus is like? What his character is like? For sure. But if you want to know who God is, look to Jesus. The Bible is full of information about his character. Jesus Christ is unique. How so? Jesus is obedient, humble, all-powerful, all-knowing, faithful, truthful, a great teacher and healer, compassionate, all-loving, and sinless. To name just a few. Wow, exactly. I would have to say that one of the many examples in the Bible, the one that stands out for me, is the event when Jesus meets the Samaritan woman at the well. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good example. Mm -hmm. It reveals Jesus' character and his personality. How does that story go again? Well, why don't we read it? Okay. This is in John chapter 4, verses 7 to 45. Soon a Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Please give me a drink. He was alone at the time, because his disciples had gone into the village to buy some food. The woman was surprised for Jews refused to have anything to do with Samaritans. She said to Jesus, You are a Jew and I am a Samaritan woman. Why are you asking me for a drink? Jesus replied, If you only knew the gift God has for you and who you are speaking to, you would ask me and I would give you living water. But sir, you don't have a rope or a bucket, she said. And this well is very deep. Where would you get this living water? And besides, do you think you're greater than our ancestor Jacob, who gave us this well? How can you offer better water than he and his sons and his animals enjoyed? Jesus replied, Anyone who drinks this water will soon become thirsty again. But those who drink the water I give will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh, bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. Please, sir, the woman said, give me this water, then I'll never be thirsty again, and I won't have to come here to get water. Go and get your husband, Jesus told her. I don't have a husband, the woman replied. Jesus said, you're right, you don't have a husband. For you have had five husbands, 
and you aren't even married to the man you're living with now, you certainly spoke the truth. Sir, the woman said, you must be a prophet. So tell me, why is it that you Jews insist that Jerusalem is the only place of worship, while we Samaritans claim it is here at Mount Gerizim, where our ancestors were worshipped? Jesus replied, Believe me, dear woman, the time is coming when it will no longer matter where you, whether you worship the Father on this mountain or in Jerusalem. You Samaritans know very little about the one you worship, while we Jews know all about him, for salvation comes through the Jews. But the time is coming, indeed it's here now, when true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The Father is looking for those who will worship him that way. For God is spirit, so those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. The woman said, I know the Messiah is coming, the one who is called Christ. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus told her, I am the Messiah. Just then, his disciples came back. They were shocked to find him talking to a woman, but none of them had the nerve to ask, What do you want with her? Or, Why are you talking to her? The woman left her water jar beside the well and ran back to the village, telling everyone, Come and see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could he possibly be the Messiah? So the people came streaming from the village to see him. Meanwhile, the disciples were urging Jesus, Rabbi, eat something. But Jesus replied, I have a kind of food you know nothing about. Did someone bring him food while we were gone? The disciples asked each other. Then Jesus explained, My nourishment comes from doing the will of God who sent me and from finishing his work. You know the saying, four months between planting and harvest. But I say, wake up and look around. The fields are already ripe for harvest. The harvesters are paid good wages, and the fruit they harvest is people brought to eternal life. What joy awaits both the planter and the harvester alike? You know the saying, one plants and another harvest. And it's true. I sent you to harvest where you didn't plant. Others had already done the work, and now you will get to gather the harvest. Many Samaritans from the village believed in Jesus because the woman had said, He told me everything I ever did. When they came out to see him, they begged him to stay in their village. So he stayed for two days, long enough for many more to hear his message and believe. Then they said to the woman, now we believe not just because of what you told us, but because we have heard him ourselves. Now we know that he is indeed the Savior of the world. At the end of the two days, Jesus went on to Galilee. And this is just one of many encounters Jesus has with other people in the Bible. Real, Real people! people. Real, Real events. events. Check, Check it, it out. out.